Good day. I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the Scout Mark II fire starter kit from Helicon Tix. Now this is part of their bushcraft line. It's only a small kit. And let's show you what we've got inside. Not a lot to it. We have some cotton wool in that package there. Probably enough there to get two fires going. I don't think you'd get much more out of that. A ferrocium striker. Now, as you can see, I haven't used this one. But it's got a nice handle, and I like the way they've gone with the green for the bushcraft. That's nice. A lot of them you see with the bright orange and that, so you don't lose it. Let's have a quick look, see if it'll strike. Give it a scrape. Right, there we go. So what we'll do in a moment is we'll go outside and we'll see how easy it is to get these going. And at the bottom we have two fire tabs. So let's see what they smell like. This. Yeah, they smell a bit fishy, but that's okay. I have to pierce it to get the smell. And that's all that's in there, the two fire tabs, cotton wool, and your striker, and you've got your tin, which you can use after, which I will be using it afterwards, and I'll show you in a little while. So I'm going to head outside, and let's see how well these all work. We'll have a go using the cotton wool with one of the fire tabs and the striker, and see if we can get it going. Okay, I've got the old welding table out here. So get the kit out. I'm not going to use anything else apart from what's in the actual kit here. So I'm going to get one of these fire tabs out. Get it open. Drop that there. Let's move this over a little bit out of the way. And before I do anything, I'm going to try and break this in half just to make it easier to start. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use half of the cotton wool, get the cotton wool going, get it on top, and see if we can get these fire tabs get started. There's actually two small cotton wool tabs in here. So that's all right then. I thought there was only one by the looks of it. Put that back in the tin over there. Give this bit of a pull to excuse the plane going over. I do just actually put that in the middle. And when this is burning, put the tabs in place. Again, give this a clean up. Get all the paint off it. And let's give it a go, shall we? And there it is. Put it on. Let's see if it will start from there. And now, just see the fire tap here, just started. So what I'm going to do now is time how long it uh, will last the two uh, halves. And then after that, we'll go back inside. Now, I was quite impressed with that. The actual fire tap, even being split in half, lasted 13 minutes and we've still got one cotton wool bud left and the striker which is going to last 
say a, a, few, a couple of hundred maybe more uses. Now the reason this is called the Mark II, the first one, the difference between this and the other one is only the tin. The original tin wasn't as deep so you have to really struggle and you can see the actual ferro rod pushing this up as you pushed it down. So they made it a little bit taller to allow everything to go in there nice and easy. Now I made a video a few weeks ago about a fire kit. Now I'm going to swap one of the tins I was using for this tin. And that's just so in my fire kit everything fits better. So I'll go and get that and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, here's the pouch, and that's a tin with the flint and steel in. Now, if I attempt to get that still in the tin in there, it's not going to fit because I'm carrying the mini infernos. I could transfer some of them into this tin, but I want to carry some char cloth in there, and these are just going to be backups. So, I'm going to use the original tin on the Scout 2 now, with it being a bit taller. The flint and steel will fit in that. So there's a the steel, it sits in there just nice. Get the flint in there too. I don't have any char cloth going there yet, I've got to make some more up. But the cotton wool will fit in there, and so will the fire tab. Let's put that underneath. Can be the best way, which think, yeah, fits nice. And I could also put this in, and hopefully, the lid still closes. So it's a handy little tin after you've used what's inside. I could also use this if I wanted to, but I got the smaller tin from the original where I could put a hole in the top and I can use this to make char cloth if I wanted to. But that was the tin I had originally. Great tin. I could even use that one now to make the char cloth. It's bigger, so it's going to make it a lot easier. That will go in that way, nice and easy. And I can carry the Mini Infernos too next to it. And now my fire kit is a little bit better. So I've got different options now. I've got what's left of the Scout Mark II fire starter kit in there with the flint and steel. And there's still room to put some char cloth in. I've got my mini Infernos. I've got one, another piece of fat wood down there. I've got some matches, my bellows, lighter, and my little lens for starting the fires and some more fire starter there so I've got a number of options now so if you want to add that to your bog out kit the size of it is nice and small it's about 9.7 centimeters by six ish six and a half that way by an inch and a half in depth and it's a pretty decent quality tin and see you've got the hinge on it so yep let's put everything, everything back one bellows a spare fat word and the original fire steel as you can see there the ferro rod had one of these glow in the dark things on it. I'll still put that in there as a backup. I'll go next to the bellows and I'll put my lighter back in. The scout kit with the flint and steel in also. And the mini infernos. And there you go, all sits in 
my fire kit. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's shown you what the actual um, Scout 2 fire kit looks like, how you can use it and how I've repurposed the tin also. And if you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell next to it and select all. And hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.